I'm Marcus Keat, MD. I'm a neurosurgeon practicing in the United States. I've been practicing for 20 years and caring for patients with glioblastoma during that time. As a surgeon, I can treat glioblastoma one patient at a time, and that is very important. But with a treatment like the one that is being developed at Shintella, I can potentially treat or contribute to the treating of hundreds and thousands of patients with glioblastoma. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Keefe, for being with us today and to, for speaking to the Biostock audience. Um, I was actually going to ask you about that, uh, your experience with brain tumors, specifically glioma and glioblastoma, and what kind of treatment can you as a clinician offer glioblastoma patients today? If it's in a part of the brain that I can safely remove a significant part of it, then I will go in and cut out all the visible tumor that I can. Then I will work with a neuro-oncologist, a cancer doctor that specializes in brain tumors to deliver chemotherapy and radiation. Those are the standard treatments right now for glioblastoma. And with all of that, people will only live on average 15 months. What do you think of Sintel's chances to develop a new treatment for glioblastoma based on their targeting antibody? The approach is remarkable. Actually, it's not just another chemotherapy, and that's what has me excited about it. Regular chemotherapy, you give poison through the body with the hopes of killing the tumor more than you kill the regular cell, and that's what causes all the side effects. This is a strategic targeted strike just against the glioblastoma cells. I think that there is great potential with the drug the ADC that's been developed by Shintella to get all the way to the clinic and be very successful in patients. Shintella aims to apply for an orphan drug designation. Uh, can you please comment on this? The Shintella ADC antibody drug conjugate clearly has an orphan indication. Glioblastoma in the United States is about 14,000 people a similar number in Europe. It's not very many. I think there's a, going to be a very high chance of getting orphan drug designation for the Shintawa ADC, and the benefits that will come from that are an extended period of time of coverage. Do you think Sintella's therapy will be a standalone therapy, or will it likely be combined with other therapies? Initially, it will certainly be combined. If the drug works, as remarkably as I think that it will, it could potentially become a monotherapy, at least in certain parts of the disease, such as if there's a recurrence of the disease and they've already had everything else and their bodies can't take any more radiation or standard chemotherapy, then potentially the Shintella drug could be given as a monotherapy. That's personally very satisfying is the animal work indicates that the drug is effective. This is not just another chemotherapy drug, and it's not just another antibody, a monoclonal antibody treatment. It's a hybrid of the two, where it is like a precision-guided missile. It's only going to hit the target you want, and it's going to have no collateral damage. It's not going to hurt anybody else other than the cells that need to be taken out. And with it only potentially being the third approved drug of this class, this is a new era of, of chemotherapy that's targeted and focused just on the tumor while protecting the rest of the neur neurons around it. So in theory, we could give this, to, this treatment time after time after time if the tumor keeps coming back, which with glioblastoma is always the case, this is a remarkable, and eventually maybe it will root out all those cells, as all the entire reservoir of glioblastoma cells, so that it's even possible that there could be a cure. A drug that has an effect will be immediately taken up 
and embraced by the neuro-oncology and neurosurgical community and the patients themselves. I never wants to use the word cure in a speculative sense for glioblastoma, but when I saw a drug that had an amazing potential to extend life and help people, I became interested in the company and I purchased some shares of the company. It's a sign of my belief in the team and the science. 